Yo, what's up, my dudes? That's Tay. I'm gonna be back once again, and Tay, I'm gonna be reacting to The Universe is Way Bigger Than You Think by Real Life Lore. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the reaction show. My, shall we, my dudes, the deaths? This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything that you've ever known is located right here. But, just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the Moon. You may think that the Moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality the Moon isn't this close to our planet, it's actually about this far away, 384,400 kilometers away from you right now on average. Well, I forgot to mention, this video is, is made by <clears throat> a well-known YouTuber known as Real Life Lore. Anyways, sorry about that. Get back into the thing real quick here. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance, and if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would... There is no way you could get a car into this base because that's physically impossible to do. The fact that the, the moon is 30 Earths away from Earth is just crazy. Take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. Despite this incredible distance... If that's the famous Neil Armstrong scene even for when he landed on space, I think. Where he said, for one small step for man, one small step for for mankind, one small step for man, and one big leap for humankind, I think is what he said. However, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth, wow. and one of humanity's greatest achievements. It's pretty this crazy, man. This is what man. the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them, and if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds yeah. to travel between you and them, that since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. That's pretty crazy. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. On average, Mars is an incredible 225 wow, million good. kilometers away from Earth, but that distance, distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, the time delay wow. for sending a message yeah, from Mars back to say. Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. It's basically possible. How are you going to do that? further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest oh away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth. That's really far AU away from... Astronomical that's really far away from Earth, by the way. ...unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times it's further away from us than the Sun that. is. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. Yeah, I, I could agree on that one. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he it's said, really crazy if how you look at it, we're just you a see small a dot. That's here. Planet. That's home. That's Suspended us. Suspended in On space. It, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, wow. ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of, of civilizations, every king and every peasant, every young couple in love, every hopeful yeah. child, every mother and every father, every inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, Every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there, on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. 
Voyager 1 oh. is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Once we go Dang, beyond the solar system, crazy. we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. Wow. To put that into perspective, if That's it was really far in the away. Right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour, you would never like even get there if you drove my car. It would take over six times longer than You'd the entire age of the way universe long is that. just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. When we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens Dang, who live crazy. outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 wow. million light years across. But zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is yeah. just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local group inside but of wait. here, and the distance wait, from one side more. to the other is a mind-numbing 110 oh, wow. million light years. Holy but cow, even that's the massive crazy, Virgo man. supercluster is nothing but a quiet and Damn, tiny bro. lobe of the that's great Maniakea supercluster, Yo. an enormous structure that oh is home to God. our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years, but from even there we can zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part hey. of everything. This crazy, is the bro. observable universe, and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. What's perhaps even more interesting, That's, however, is, that is what very actually huge, lies by the way. beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly yeah, distant that's pretty places crazy, has man. not yet had enough wow. time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us oh, faster yeah, than that's the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will eternal. still be an unknown number that's of like places hypothetical in the universe at this that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at wow, the present yeah. day, the entire universe really is crazy, 150 man. sextillion times larger than the observable universe. Wow. That number for reference looks like this, with this many really zeros. Crazy, 
Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto wow. existed outside of it, and that's a similar situation to this. We are all so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. Wow, that's actually pretty crazy how this space could be... <gasps> What I learned about this is space could be so big that we feel like tiny atoms compared to some stuff out there. Anyways, I hope you guys sincerely enjoy my vid. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to sincerely feel positively like, comment, and subscribe. Tap notification bell, share this video with others. And what I'm saying, by the way, is only suggestions. It's you could always do those things or not. It it's your choice. It's your up to you choice it, to do that or not. I'm not forcing you to. It's you could choose to do it yourself. If you want to or not, you don't have to. But it would be very helpful. It would be very thankful of you to do that if you wanted to. Anyways. I think, uh, uh, well, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video, so peace out, my dude to do that. Anyways, peace.